Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring, and another episode of 10 Paints or Less, in which I attempt to paint something in 10 Paints or Less. The other week in one of my videos, I painted a black knight, and someone in the comments said, could you paint a space marine this way? I thought, what the heck, let's give it a go. So in this video, I'm going to be painting this space marine sniper. Um, he's been undercoated in black, and he is ready to start painting. Um, this guy is actually part of my kill team. Um, I'm going to start with lead belcher, obviously. I'm going to paint all of the armor with lead belcher. I have thinned this ever so slightly, but I'm only using one coat because um, one coat is enough in this particular case, as I, I have found. And, and I'm lazy. I won't put two coats on unless I really have to. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm covering the gun, um, the helmet, all of the, uh, the shoulder pads, all of the armor, the chest plates. Um, and I'm actually doing the boots and things as well. And, you know, it's it doesn't matter about going over the cloak and things like that because that'll all get touched up afterwards. But for now, it's just about getting an even coat of super bright lead belcher over everything. And now we're going to knock this down to make it as dark as possible. So we're going to start with non oil. Um, because what I'm going for here, I'm going for kind of like a very dark armor like a sniper would wear like a, an assassin would wear someone who's striking from the shadows so i'm covering everything that's been painted in lead belcher i'm covering with a coat of null oil and i put one coat of null oil on this guy but you could put two coats on to really take it a lot darker again but again not being too 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 careful it's basically just slapping it on it doesn't matter if it pulls too much in the recesses um, and that's it when it first goes on. That's what it looks like fresh. Um, obviously, it's still quite bright and very metallic at the moment, and that's not, not the final look that I want. So the next thing we're doing is we're going to do a, a null oil and purple tone combo. Um, I think Drukey Violet or something is um, a Games Workshop approximation of this purple tone that I'm using here. Um, so I'm just gonna gonna make this roughly 50-50 split. Um, I end up putting a little bit more null oil than, than purple into this mix. And I actually apply two coats of this. Um, you'll, you'll see me applying one coat in the video, but I actually apply two coats. Um, again, just to just to keep that armor quite dark and, and getting that deep purple tone to it. So again, it's literally just over everything that I've already painted and, and not worrying about anything else at this moment. And you end up with something like that. That's after the first coat, and then I put on another coat again to, to make it a little bit darker still. And then I'm going to straight neat purple tone. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to pick out some of the some of the armor details. There's tiny little skulls on the on the gauntlets, and then there's obviously the um, the insignia on the breastplate. And also there's a few little bits and bobs on the actual sniper rifle itself. So I'm just going to put a neat purple wash over those just to just to draw them out just a little bit from the rest of the miniature just to add a little bit of slight color interest but again this isn't going to be a very bright um model it's going to look very um minimalistic which is the look i'm going for so there we go that's with the uh with the purple on the insignia, on the gauntlets, on a couple of areas on the rifle. And we are now going back to lead belcher, and I'm going to do a very, very, very minimal dry brush just over the highest areas of the armor, just to, just to redefine the edges a little bit, um, because I'm not going to do any edge highlights or anything like that on the armor. I just wanted to, just to kind of redefine anything that was being lost under all those different shades. Without, obviously, um, bringing it back up to bright again. We're now going to Abaddon Black and what I'm going to do here is um, there is fabric on the miniature so the gun holsters, uh, the leggings, um, the, it's the small areas of the arm that you can see between the gauntlet and the shoulder pads, those are all just getting a neat black um, black coating at this point and I'm painting straight from the pot on, on those because um, it's a couple of fiddly little bits and, and I wasn't and too worried about about wanting to put two coats on so I've just used straight from the pot but when I do the cloak on the back which is also going to get um, a black coating um, I'm watering it ever so slightly and I do put two coats on the cloak on the back 
just to get a nice smooth finish on that cloak because it's a big it's a big expanse of the model it's not a tiny little a little detail so that will get two coats of the slightly watered down Abaddon black and there we go that's with just the the, the armor uh, the the uh, the black elements between the armor we're now going to ash gray and what i'm going to do with ash gray is i'm going to do some edge highlighting i have very unstable hands and edge highlighting is not good for me i i don't enjoy doing it but i'm going to edge highlight the holsters um and the cloak the, the, the folds of the cloak um um the any little buckles and things on the belt any pouches and also i'm going to dry brush the gene stealer skull i put on the base of the miniature so here i am um just um lining out the the creases the folds in the cloak obviously the raised parts of the cloak um and it's going to look quite um quite stark at the moment because obviously it's a black cloak and then i've gone for an, uh, for the ash gray over the top of that so it's, it's quite a a bold distinction between the bits that i'm lining out and the bits that that are cloak but we will deal with that in a moment with some washes good old washes but yeah so i've done uh, i do the cloak um there's little um bags on his belt his holsters and then i just dry brush the skull on the base i don't think i actually show show the skull being dry brushed but there you go um you can see that the skull has been dry brushed there and everything else has been lined in and you can see that's quite um quite a stark difference between the black and the and the ash gray at the moment but we're now going to try and tie that all together by we're using neat purple tone on the cloak here um and we're also going to put neat purple tone on the holsters and on the little bag on his belt so this is just a neat coat going straight on and what i do is i put um one coat on and then when it's dry i put a second coat of purple on um but mainly um on the raised folds of the cloak there's a, a second coat goes on over those just to kind of knock down those highlights and try and tie everything a little bit more together so it's one one coat over everything and then one coat just over the highlighted areas and we're getting somewhere like that that's after one coat and then we'll be like say a second coat of of the purple goes over that again and then we use blue tone um this is just a, a small um wash of blue tone to go over that gene stealer skull i'm not worrying too much about painting it up in any great detail and there we go that's that's all the extra washes applied um and now we're going to do the lenses in his mask so what i do here unfortunately some of my footage got lost here but what i do is it's a coat of mephiston red and then over that i put a coat of um the red the evil sun scarlet and then over that i put a very fine line of white um so there's a very fine line of white uh and then i water down some scarlet again some evil sun scarlet and paint back over the white just to give it kind of like a glow in the lens but unfortunately um like i say i don't have footage doing that but when i show it up here this this is the point where we've just had the um the mephiston red go on so he looks very very red very demonic at the moment but then this is the stage afterwards where it's had the uh, the scarlet and then the white and then the watered down scarlet over the top again just to give it that sort of glowing lens effect um it's not as good as a lot of other glowing glowing lens effects you will see on other channels but if you want really good painting guides you're in the wrong place this is lazy painting guides <laughs> um right um the purple tone here is just to um put a little bit of purple wash on the gene stealer skull on the ridges along the top of the snout um for a little bit more definition on those and then it's to agrax uh not agrax earth shade the um, astro granite texture paint um so at this point i cover the whole top of the base with the texture paint when that's completely dry and it takes quite a long time because of all the lumps and things in it i give it a very light dry brush of Ulthuan gray um, which i don't actually show in this video and then edge in black around the sides of the base so
so um, when you're putting the astro granite on just be careful that you don't slop it all over everything because it is lumpy and use a rubbish brush and here we go this is the this is um the finished miniature under my painting lights which are obviously quite bright um it's a it's a quite a bright daylight bulb um you can see the effect in the lens it's it's not not the best effect in the world but you can and you can also see um how the edge highlighting on the holsters and things like that once you've got that purple wash over it it knocks down the color but leaves leaves the definition um uh, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got one more image coming up where I will show you the front and the back of the miniature under a more um, a more usual tabletop lighting. So it's basically shot on, on my kitchen table as you would see it on the battlefield. And there you go. And you can see that the, um, the cloak now, the, the highlighted areas are, are not as prominent. Um, and the eyes kind of shine out a little bit from the dark of the armor but there we go anyway that is a very dark armor effect for a a, a space marine sniper assassin type character for kill team i hope you found this interesting bye bye everyone bye bye